Hi, everybody. We are the Skeleton Crew, and we are here today with a very special announcement. This is not one of our regularly scheduled videos. Um, we are going to be running a major fundraising effort for the SVP Futures Award this year uh, in October. To give you guys a little bit of brief context, the SVP Futures Award is a uh, grant administered by the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology to support undergraduate research by people from groups historically underrepresented in science. Um, this is something we believe in very firmly. Um, summer research experience is critical to getting your foot in the door with paleontology. And often summer research experiences are either very low paying or cost you money to pursue. And that means that for people from underrepresented backgrounds, there's a significant barrier that uh, can often preclude them from doing this very, very necessary and rewarding task, right? My summer research experiences in a lot of ways shaped the scientist I am now and really helped me develop my skills. I'm sure that the rest of us can say the same. Um, and so this is something we really believe in. We think it's a really important step towards um, increasing participation in vertebrate paleontology and ensuring that everybody who it wants to has an opportunity to become a paleontologist. So with that, I want to turn this over to Amelia, who is responsible for a lot of the organizing for this fundraiser, um, to give us a little introduction to the various events we're going to be participating in in October uh, as the Society for Vertebrate Paleontology's annual meeting winds up and, um, and all of the things we'll be participating in with regards to our fundraiser. So Amelia, please take it from here. Right, yeah, okay. So the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology is basically the main professional society for paleontologists who work on things with bones, which include all of us here. Um, the physical we meeting happens... What? We have... I said we have bones. We sure do. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't have to remind me. Um, He's anyways. every day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so the meeting of the SVP typically happens in October every year. This year it's happening the week of the 16th in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, so leading up to that, we will be holding a short live stream at the beginning of the month of October to kind of kick off fundraising for the Futures Award. Um, this fundraiser will remain open for the entirety of October and November. Uh, we don't have an exact open date yet, and we also don't have an exact date for the initial live stream, but we'll let you know as soon as we do uh, have those planned. Uh, during the physical meeting, um, for any of you who might be attending that, we will be around uh, and we will be facilitating fundraising to this grant during that as well. Um, and then following the physical meeting, there is a virtual uh, SVP meeting. And during this, we have a couple things happening. We have a panel uh, that we're participating in where we will talk about our philosophy for running the channel and how we think, um, I'm going to start over. So during virtu the virtual meeting, we will have a panel uh, in which we'll be talking about the philosophy behind how we run the channel and how we approach science outreach um, as researchers and as uh, presences on social media. Uh, this will be happening on Saturday, the 28th, starting at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You do need to be registered to the virtual meeting to attend this event. However, we, will, we were told that this panel will be recorded and uploaded to the SVP YouTube page after the fact. So that you can watch after the meeting. Um, if you do have an interest in pursuing paleontology professionally, I do really recommend signing up for the virtual meeting. It's a lot more accessible. Uh, than the physical meeting, but you still will get a lot out of it. There's a lot of other panels happening and just a lot of opportunities to actually talk with other researchers and educators in the field. And even if right now you're a student or a high school or whatever, uh, you will have plenty of networking opportunities to just kind of hang out and chat with these people and ask them questions about how they got to be where they are now. Um, so it'd be a very valuable experience for that. Um, and then at the end of the virtual meeting, which is Sunday, the 29th, we will be hosting a longer live stream to kind of shut the whole show down. We'll be starting at 12 p.m. noon, going into the wee hours of the night, probably another 12 hour one. We haven't quite decided on that yet, but uh, probably. Um, then after that, the fundraiser will remain open through November, uh, part of the virtual 
conference is there will be a virtual museum uh, that you can walk around in and explore various things. And those some of those various things will be links to donate uh, to the fundraiser. So because that will be open through November, the fundraiser will also run through November. Um, so to recap, the live streams will be accessible through our channel. And so for that, you don't need to be registered to the SVP meeting. Um, however, if you are interested in this as a career, it would be a good idea for you to attend that as well, but you don't have to. And even for the panel, it will be recorded and uploaded to the SVP YouTube channel after that. Um, so it will still be accessible that way. And I don't believe I'm forgetting anything. Hope I'm not forgetting anything. I don't believe so. Um, nice. I think this is a very exciting thing. Um, Skeleton Crew, should we reveal the target we're trying to raise for the Futures Award this year? We have a target. We do have a target. We have a target. Oh, I we forgot are, about the target. It's okay. So it's ten thousand, um, right? It's ten thousand dollars. Yeah, because um, we did such an well. I we you guys did such yeah. an incredible job last time in blowing our expectations entirely out of the water that we thought, hey, we'll challenge y'all again. And last time we were able to raise seven thousand dollars for the Trevor Project, we think we can do ten thousand this time for the SVP Futures Award. Right. Okay. So to put that into context, uh, ten thousand dollars will cover two of these grants. So each of the grants that the Futures Award gives out are five thousand dollars. So we can fund two students uh, with that if we are able to raise that. And uh, we hope, of course, that we are able to raise more than that. But right. Um. I, I think that what we're trying to do here is something very, very important to the next generation of this field of researchers. This is an award that might benefit some of our viewers at some point, um, it, you know, provided it's able to remain funded in perpetuity. And so we're really hopeful to see what our community is able to organize and bring together um, to try to support the, you know, paleontology as it moves into the 21st century. And as a new generation of people who've historically been unable to participate in it are finally given that opportunity. Um, so I think this is important. I'm extremely excited about this. I'm incredibly apprehensive about this because the goal <laughs> is high. And uh, I, I would like us to be successful. Um, so please help us. Please, please no. help us reach that goal. We're desperate. Help yes. us help the SVP. Exactly. Help, us help them. Yeah, but like yes. to, to further emphasize like how important undergrad research is, like, for example, I'm fully convinced that if I did not have an undergrad research opportunity, I would not be here. I would be nowhere far, <laughs> you know, after graduating. Like that was really, as we've said, like my first foot in the door um, and my first real experience for like what research is and whether or not I liked it. Now, granted, mine wasn't a paleo experience, but still it was that having the opportunity to actually do that learn those skills, work with some really great scientists. And on top of it, uh, again, though this was funded through a different um, program, it was absolutely necessary that I was being paid for these 10 weeks in the summer that I could not have another job. Um, and for a lot of people, you know, 10 weeks without pay is not something that's feasible. I'll just jump in and say, I was in the room when Amelia's admission to the Gilder School was being deliberated upon because I was already a student in that program. And she's correct. So, oh yeah, I mean, not that, <laughs> not that I was there when the, like, when the actual no, decision yeah. was made, but, you know, we, we know that, you know, it's very common knowledge that admission to PhD programs is based in a large part upon summer research. And the fact that you had a documented history of doing research at that point was why your admission was considered strongly enough to get you an interview and ultimately get you admission to the program. Um, I wasn't there when my own admission was being decided upon. But I know the same thing applied, right? Like my undergraduate research experience um, was, you know, again, funded through a different opportunity, but um, it led to a publication before I had graduated my undergrad. And that is, I'm sure, why I was admitted into graduate school, um, you know, over other candidates who might have had otherwise equal uh, qualifications. So it's something that's very important. This is a really, yeah. really important fund. Um, and the flip side of it is that after you do this research, the SVP suggests that you can then the next year apply for a different grant to actually attend the SVP and present the research that you conducted while supported by the grant. And that is the other important thing about um, 
The other important thing that helps you get into grad school and progress in your career in research is actually presenting your work at conferences. And that's something that, again, with both my summer um, opportunity and another opportunity I had at my uh, undergrad institution, um, being able to actually present work that you did at a professional meeting is really, really important and helps you kind of helps kind of put you on the map uh, for potential advisors and career opportunities down the line. Yeah. Stay tuned again, as we said, for a schedule of both when the streams are going to happen for sure, especially that introductory one, and also what we'll be doing on those streams. Um, we're hoping that we're going to be able to do a lot of what we did for the Pride stream, as well as some new stuff as well. Um, we're going to try and keep things lively, keep things fresh. We had a great time doing it last time, and I'm super excited to be doing it again. Yeah. And, and if we're having trouble meeting our goal, we will play Second Extinction until we meet it. Uh, that <laughs> is, is a threat. threat. <laughs> so, um, so make sure we meet our goal early or else you'll have to endure us um, picking up. What are the, I mean, like, what do they say? Penaraptorian feathers and other things like that? Capitegulae. Yeah, yeah we're going to pick up a lot of Capitegulae. <laughs> um, that game is fun and y'all can't change my mind about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scott and I have half baked plans to just start streaming it, like, without any warning. Um, <laughs> just because we like it and we want an excuse to play it. Um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you guys. Please stay tuned here. Like Dalton said, we'll be announcing any details as they come up on our YouTube community page and our social media and in our Discord server that if you're a patron of the Skeleton Crew, you have access to. So Watch stay tuned space. everywhere. Watch this space. And uh, please join us for this really exciting fundraiser that I, I think we're all really, really excited to participate in. Not participate in, run ourselves. Yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs>